Hello, my name is Anatoly Ivanov. I'm an English teacher and I'm the founder of Your English Specialist. Okay. A project dedicated and aiming to help people in their knowledge and skills about English and the, not only the language itself, but the culture and everything connected to it. How to use it, how to be a global citizen and how to be uh, a person that is of value. Well, we try to combine traditional and also modern approaches to learning and e-learning. Now, in today's world, it's um, important to use uh, modern and innovative tools which are digital, accessible and easy to, to use so that they are interactive with the users, but also to be based on the science so far about education, the methods that work and the approaches that have given um, their uh, um, value over time in the world. Yes, of course, uh, both of those things are interconnected because communication for every aspect of our uh, lives and society, we, we are very um, involved with language, so no matter what you are doing, uh, you, you have to use English in your daily life in some form. So. Definitely entrepreneurial activities are interconnected with English because the, the world of uh, business and uh, tourism or, or startups and everything is a global world and English is the language everyone speaks. Well, uh, when we are learning a new language which isn't our native language, we have to develop certain skills to analyze and to, to think about the, the target language we are learning. So definitely critical thinking is interconnected with, with language learning in many ways because we have to analyze texts, we have to di differentiate between uh, literal and non-literal meaning and contexts. So when you, when you try to construct uh, different phrasings or, or sentences, you have, to, you, you have to think critically, am I correct now, am I understanding well enough the situation I'm given, and so on. Well, um, it really depends on how people learn best and what their leading drive sense is, because people learn in a different way and there isn't a singular fo formula for every person and you have to identify what are your strong sides, which is your leading driving sense and are you a visual learner, are you a cognitive learner, uh, do you learn through practice or experience or through communication and graphics, you have to know which are your strong and, and weak sides and that helps uh, when, when you want to, to uh, develop yourself in a certain aspect, in, in this case entrepreneurial uh, activities. So um, you, you have to, to know how you learn and language is a great way to discover that. And when you know that, you can apply it to any other field of interest. Mm -hmm, yes, well, uh, for example, even riddles or, or mystery books or such things which are novels and written literature can help people develop their imagination, their critical thinking in a way to, to analyze a certain situation and context. So definitely, when, when we stimulate our senses with unknown information, that's the most important thing. When we have an, uh, uh, some sort of information we don't know or we are not familiar with, then we have to adapt to it, we have to react to it. So this way we develop our critical thinking, for sure, by analyzing details. Well, uh, first of all, you, you have to be able to, to present yourself in a way that um, doesn't allow for mistake or for some uh, error. So you have to have practiced that presentation a lot. You have to have built a pitch, um, ri written it, read it aloud multiple times, practiced in front of the mirror or on video, like uh, to, to observe yourself, how you stand, how, how well you present yourself. Is your 
voice right? Uh, is your tone right? Uh, are you making any specific errors or mistakes in your body language and expressions? So uh, English as a language is an important factor in the world of pitching because most of the international investors or, or international funds are looking for, for capable people that understand English on a top level so that they can communicate well. If there is a bridge gap between the people and the investors, then um, no business could be done well because they would not speak the same language. And that's why English is so important because it bridges and connects people one to another. Well, networking is another a key component because that's how you build uh, a network of contacts of potential colleagues, of potential partners or potential investors in your project. So uh, when you are building a web of people and a network of people, you have to be uh, able to maintain the certain style acceptable for this place and you have to be able to co correctly use your register of voice and, and, and language so that way you can impress from the start. Well, if you look at the language as a mechanism, as a compiled uh, system of different components, that way you can transfer that design thinking into other aspects of your life and to to implement it and to encourage people to to have a look at what you're doing in a in a specific way so uh, for sure language is applicable anywhere uh, about almost any topic